Hi everybody, this is Boaz Feiler, I'm your friendly neighborhood evolutionary astrologer. And please forgive me, I am a little hammered because yesterday was my wife's birthday party and we've bashed around and I still didn't have my amount of coffee and breakfast. But I'm here to talk with you and I'm a little bit funnier when I'm like this, so you get to uh, enjoy that, hopefully, hopefully. Anyway, so we had a lot of videos lately. I mean, there was the last weekly video, and then it was the monthly video, and now there's another weekly video. So I'm, I'm going to try and, and narrow this down and really keep it as short as possible. Because I know you don't have all your time to watch my uh, videos. So what are we going to talk about? What are, we, what are we facing during the next week between the 5th and the 12th of August 2017? So we have Jupiter square Pluto, which we're really feeling in the sky. And Jupiter square Pluto is about an inner power struggle. It's about understanding the darker, more secretive, hidden, uh, all the places within me that were left in the shade. That we still have some garbage there and some clutter there and some things that we're not so proud of there, hidden in the dark. And Jupiter helps us bring it forth from the abyss and really make it rise and deal with it and understand ourselves better, really know ourselves better, reach deeper, and by that knowledge expand our consciousness and actually grow, bring that darkness onto light. But if we're not very um, conscious and, and doing spiritual work, this could be a time for power trips, this could be a time for ego trips, this could be a time in which we are faced with our shadows and if we're not careful, they could be ruling us. August 5th, we have the Moon conjunct Pluto, so be a little disattached and more logical. 7th, we have a lunar eclipse in 15 Aquarius Leo. So this axis of Aquarius Leo, very active with the nodes, of course, and now the eclipses. And we have this eclipse smack in the middle of Leo, smack in the middle of Aquarius all about my role here on earth my particular gift to the group to the world to humanity and every lunar eclipse is about giving birth to a new perspective it's about changing the subjective viewpoint from from which we go out onto the world from which we view the world this is about the lens we look through at things and the lens changing the the, the diameter of our um, frame changing and so the world that we see outside and the things we look onto outside changes as well and this is a time that we cannot rest we cannot sit uh, empty handed and wait for change to come this is a time for action remember we have the moon uh, opposing Mars on this eclipse and we have the Sun conjunct Mars all through uh, the middle of, uh, of August. So it is a time for action. It is a time to rekindle our independence and our separation process and really pioneer a new effort in our life. It's not a time that we can sit idly and wait for things to happen. This, this is about struggle. This is about feeling stressed. This is about understanding that the world has not, you know, uh, <coughs> unwrapped the red carpet for us but it is really about macheting our way down the, the down the jungle if we want to get somewhere and doing this work now will pay will pay i mean if whoever struggles now will feel the benefits early next year when we have the sextile between saturn and jupiter then socially we could feel the um what what has been sown starts sprouting so it's about doing the work and understanding that we will be paid for this work even if it takes a while and not giving up not giving up so august 7th this is the leo aquarius eclipse then august 9 we have the moon conjunct neptune opposing mercury not a good day to do your uh, banking calculations not a good day to try and, and, and uh, make sense of many different small details, not a good day to um, do anything analytical really because the moon is in Pisces, it's conjunct Neptune and it's opposing Mercury that is in a standstill and is about to turn retrograde. So any logical activity, any uh, faculties uh, concerning your left brain are not 
very good for this day. This is a great day for meditation, spirituality, creativity, artistic endeavors, and going out to nature. But we could be a little bit out there even if we stay at home, so don't be too mad at yourself. August 10th, we have the moon in Pisces, conjunct Chiron, square Saturn. Don't be critical. Be nice to yourself and others. And if you're touching pains and aches, do it gently. These are the places that need your TLC more than anything. And on August 12th, we have Mercury turning retrograde in Virgo. It's ruling sign, so we're going to feel that retrograde very strongly. Remember, we have Uranus. The higher octave of Mercury also retrograding. This is going to be a time with a lot of uh, communicative malfunctions, internet, uh, 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 computer, smartphones, uh, uh, the roads, uh, traffic, uh, schedules. Everything is subject to change. Remember that any retrograde is a time that we look at things from a different perspective. And when Mercury goes retrograde, it's about navigation through our life and our thought process that changes the way we absorb and disseminate information and process information. So there's many disclosures that, hap that, ha that are happening at the time of a Mercury retrograde because we think differently, so new information comes out. But especially in Virgo, it's about fixing the world. It's about fixing our world, our personal world, and about fixing the world in general. It's about giving back to nature, giving back to animals, giving back and making our environment healthier looking at the smaller details that still need some work, that still needs advancement. It's about putting your hands on and not giving up, not remaining passive to the work that needs to be done. It's about understanding that it is our responsibility to be those constant gardeners in Virgo. So, and I think that's it. I think that's it, yeah. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it. And of course, for private consultations and questions you might have and uh, courses, you're welcome to, uh, or private lessons, you're welcome to uh, contact me, of course. And I want to thank you for listening. I want to thank you for your comments. And thank you for being on this journey from, uh, on this journey with me. And, you know, I'm going to have my coffee right now and hope I've been making sense. I'm not going to be spreading this video as wide because you're probably tired of seeing me in all those groups. But I want to thank you for looking at me and I want to thank you for listening. And I think this is a communal effort we're all doing. So, Lightworkers, unite. Have a beautiful week. Bye bye.